Alright, hey guys, Trevor Critchley here today with I'm back with episode 13 of Fruit Baskets. Got a lot more back here. <coughs> she seems like quite a dark character. Whatever the fuck she's done with Yuki, which I think is to do with like locking up, obsessing over him, basically trying to keep her to herself. It was nice to see that sort of character in this show. Adds a bit more of a threat to it. But overall, really solid episode. I really fucking enjoyed it. It was great. I also want to thank everyone who left a like on that video. I really appreciate it. And just like that one, if you guys could leave a like, I would really appreciate it too. And subscribe. I'm trying to hit 3,500 by the end of the year. And yeah, subscribe so you know when I'm fruit baskets being uploaded. As I want as many of you as possible to watch it. Um, but yeah, I really just want to jump into this. As you know, if you've been watching my reactions, I'm loving it so far. It's been such an enjoyable experience. And this can be up there if they, if they nail the romance in this show, along with everything else they're doing. Um, this could be up there with some of my favourite romance animes. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. So I can't wait to get to see more. Let's get into this. No, don't remind me of hay fever. I'm having a horrible time with it. Ooh, what animal we got now? Ooh, snakes. That's a bit blurred. <laughs> Fucking out. <laughs> Fucking out, brutalized. <laughs> yuki has got intense. Mate, what's Sephiroth doing in there? That is... Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> it's a vol form. That's the second form of Yuki. <laughs> One thing I give the show is that like, every character they've shown that so far have all had very distinctive personalities, and I quite like that. Do. Do, do, do. <laughs> I love how those two instant reacts. Jealousy. <laughs> I love how just got in the habit face all the time. I guess that would make it hard to be a sibling relationship. It's easy to do, I can relate with that. Oh, he just came for his brother then. That's cute. Let me check on him. My only thing is, is that if they all knew that Akito was treating him that way, why did no one step up for him? Oh, I guess they wouldn't understand what Akito was doing if they were younger. Okay, I'm glad they brought that up. When he asked for his help, but he was like distancing himself from him. That's a good, I like that little storyline. I give to her that she could come across as such a one dimensional character, but she does have some really good lines in the show. She seems a lot more aware of the situation than she lets on. Not like that little conversation with you can relate without distancing with family members and then not realising something. Where is it? Not realizing signs until you're older, when it's a bit too late to realize them. I've got to say, Yuki's personality has actually changed quite a lot. Like his, vo his voice actor sound is a lot, it's a bit more emotion behind the voice actor. Is Luki creepy because he's in a shirt? But he looks so cute. <laughs> I like the fact that Yuki's opening up a little bit. I can say. I think they've done nice touches with um, the way his face is drawn and uh, shows a bit more emotion on his face and the way his voice actor is doing his job as well. I don't know if it's just me, but if anyone else sees it. Put in the comments. I'm quite curious. Just because of the difference of personality. I do love Haru's design. <laughs> it's just a badass. 
こうかなあでも兄弟水入れずの邪魔しちゃダメだね水入らずユキどう嬉しそうあ,あ,あ,あユキユキユキええっとなるほどわかったでもあやお店はほっといていいのかな店長さんなのにえあやめさんはお店を出していらっしゃるのですかなんかウェディングドレスとかナースとかメイドとかの服を売ってる洋服屋さんでコスプレイショップ男のロマンを売る店ってあや言ってたいや、yeah, コスプレイショップただいまですおやまだいたまだいた<笑> The disappointment of those two そんなに僕とお話ししたいのかい僕としてはまたトール君と二人きりになりたいけどねそれが心配だからだ何を見ていらしたのですかん僕らお告げにタンを発しますマルドゥームに This guy is the king of bullshit <laughs> ブルバラ様の海は無知を打たれた駒のように解放され熱い慈愛の波とともにその頭には軽く風になびかん木々のごとくたおやかな髪が広がっていたのですさてこの時かのカシパルー様と言いますと神女にて芽吹きを待つ花のように安息の眠りについておられましたが突如襲った胸の高鳴りに声を上げましたカンパニールとカンパニールとは我が国の言葉でしてつまりこれから人と会う約束がカンドラ様の説明がまだですいい挑発でいいという説得によって許可を得たわけだ王族の方だったのですか Sake to her. Of course, she would believe it. Yeah, Motto Sinjira and I had a show stang ill. I have a say to Kajo that Tanda. Sarah's a boy, Nanda Kanda. He must have missed all that chance this I am. Sorry, got me. It's even a say to say something. Ma, I will come back when you move it. You put on girls, didn't he? たまごなしに攻めないでやってくれたまえ健康的男子ならば誰でも入りかねない場所なのだからねそれから僕らは思いちゃいないよもうそんな遊び飽きてたしね今さらりとすごいことを言ったようなそれでだ運悪くというか教
心配してくれてありがとう。Mate, the growth of Yuki, I can respect it. <laughs> there we go. Taru the Innocent. That was a really good episode. I didn't expect to be getting another great one after the last one, but I enjoyed that very a lot. I think because I can relate with um, his situation with his brother, so that's that also put his bonuses in my book. I like the idea of it. I like the idea that he cared for his brother, but situations when you're younger and you don't fully understand something or like things, and when you realise what these signs were when you're older, you sort of a bit too late. I'm glad like he cared enough because obviously he knows what now he knows what happened which he thinks more about what between Akito and Yuki when they met again he was wanted to go there straight away to check see if he was alright I did like that I love really like Yuki this episode I think I love the fact that he's gained a lot more emotion this, I like how the voice acting's changed he's showing more facial expressions and um, the way his voice talks is not so static static um yeah, and he's slowly growing his character, and I'm like, and you can physically see. One thing I love about growth is when you can physically, see, when you can see it, and just the way his attitude is in that, like you can see the growth in his character. Um, he's just someone you want to protect, and yeah, no, he's he's, he's a really good character. I, when I first watched it, I'm like, oh, Yuki's not going to be someone I'm going to like, but do you know what? He's grown me quite a lot, and I do actually quite like him. Kyo's still my best best cat, probably my favorite character by far. But I do really like Yuki as well, which is as hard to do with a show when they sort of have two male characters. You've had like one or the other, but I like them both. Haru had some great moments as always. I don't know, she has got a way with words, and I really do like her character could be one direction, but she takes her life experiences and a care for others, and it's all done pretty well. And I really enjoy that. And yeah, I'm just really enjoy I'm just really enjoying the show. I think it's a fantastic show. I, I never thought I'd sit here and go how good this show is. If you told me about Fruit Basket before, I probably would have been like, uh. Girl who hugs, uh, girl who who, who who when hugs over sex turns into animals. Some like, oh, that sounds a bit boring, but I really fucking love it. I'm loving it. I think it's a great show. Can't wait to get further into it. And I'm really, really curious to see how this is gonna end. Like this show overall, I'm just wanna. I just wonder if they do gonna do it where they're growing up. And don't tell me, but I would love to see like a bit more of like an after story, like an after story where they're a bit older, or just like a bit more. So, oh, I, I, there's not even that much romance in it yet and I'm loving it so when that actually gets involved I'm just screwed. yeah I'm loving the show guys hopefully enjoy my reaction please leave a like I madly appreciate it and I hope to see you next week